Hey Talisman, what are your thoughts on going to college to learn about digital marketing? Is it worth time going? Would you start off yourself by learning and make some mistakes before getting educated or would you not bother going to university at all? That's from a, having a stroke RN on Twitter, unusual name. University, here's my problem with university. University has complete and utter control on the business of lending money to young people. Let's say you're 18 and you and four of your 18 year old friends have been going around your neighborhood washing cars. You've proved that you're hardworking. You've proved that your business model is viable and you've made $5,000 washing cars. You're living off this salary. You have ads in the paper and your business is going well. And you all go to the bank and you say, hello, bank. They say, hello, young 18 year old men or women. I would like to borrow some money to expand my car washing business. I have a perfect business plan. The business is already making money. I'm paying my taxes. It's all legit. I'd like to rent a premises here at this busy intersection and expand and take my car wash business to the next level. The bank will say, no, I don't trust you with $50,000. Kiss my ass, you cannot have a loan until you're 40 years old. 18 year olds get lost. Screw your car wash business, leave me alone. If you are a young man whose grandfather or father ever gave them flying lessons in a small plane, and you've done a certain number of hours in a small plane, and you go to a bank and say, hey bank, I'm 18 years old, I would love to become a pilot. I feel like that would be a wonderful career for me. I've done this many hours flying in a small plane. What I need is some commercial airline training. So in a couple years, I can apply for jobs at American Airways. That would be, that's my dream. Can you please lend me $50,000, even paid directly to a flying school, so I could finish my training as a pilot and I can go and fly aircraft. They'll say, oh, that sounds very interesting. No, get lost. You can't have a loan and you can't be a pilot. If you wanna be a pilot, join the military and risk dying in one of our pointless wars. Before I go off on a tangent, I'll silence myself. Then if you survive our pointless war, you can have a pilot's license, uh-huh. Ridiculous, but they will not lend you money. Whereas, unlike the young focused man who wants to become a pilot, unlike the young focused individuals who are running the car wash, and making good money and paying their taxes. If a lost young man, straight out of high school with very basic grades, doesn't know what he wants to do in life and approaches a loan center attached to a university and says, hi, I have no clue what I wanna do. I'm just some kid. My grades are average. I have no real aspirations, but I think university or college is the next step. I wanna study gender studies. They'll write you a big fat check for a hundred thousand dollars that you know, you now have to go out with your gender studies degree and find a way of paying back. And you are in debt and enslaved by the matrix forever. Higher education has a monopoly on the financial system, lending money to young people because they will only get loans for higher education. <sighs> if you wanna learn internet marketing, you do not go to university. There are use cases for university. If you wanna be a lawyer, good, go past the bar. You wanna be a doctor, cool, go to medical school. If you wanna learn internet marketing, you do not need to go to university and get that big $50,000 check which you then have to pay back with your internet marketing skills because people out there on the internet have created platforms that aren't unfairly biased towards young people that can teach you skills to make money. Now, of course, I'm gonna talk about the real world or the evolution of Hustlers University 2.0. It's a program put together by my brother and myself. It is a very, very unique system where we made sure that verified millionaires are giving lessons on how to make money in the field that made them rich. Before you go to university to study gender studies, before you go to university to study business, what I would advise you to do is this. 
Go to the faculty parking lot and say, what does this teacher teach? What does this teacher teach? And point out all the vehicles. The crappiest cars out there will be the business studies teachers. So if this guy's so broke, he can't even buy a nice car. Why is he telling you about business for $100,000 a year? That's called a racket. It's called racketeering. It's a scam. Whereas if I lined up all the vehicles of my real world professors, you'd be very impressed from Rolls Royces to Lamborghinis to G-Wagons. Now, the real world is only $149 to join and a recurring $49 a month. There's a link underneath this video. It is the best and now the biggest educational platform outside of a traditional university that exists in the world. It's the biggest educational platform in the world that isn't a traditional university. And the reason is, is because it works. So check it out, join on the link below. But traditional university, yeah, it's, it can be a scam unless you're very specific about what you wanna do in life and very specific about where you wanna go, you have no business just signing up to university and borrowing a bunch of money. Even in countries where it's free, you'll learn a lot more in those three years working for businesses, trying to start your own business, than you will listening to some broke professor talk to you about business. Because in the countries where university is free, the professors are typically more broke than the other professors. And who wants to learn from broke people? Not me.